Yo, what's up guys? It's Q here from Kiki's Tattoo Service. Also, uh, the underscore works Instagram page. Um, so basically here right now I'm doing a little time lapse just to kind of give you guys a little sneak peek of the process I go through. Basically the idea sketching process. Um, so whenever I have an idea pop into my head... Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to get to my little workstation here. Um, the subject that came into my head was a unicorn girl, as crazy as that sounds. Um, so what I did is I just basically pulled up a picture of, like, you know, just Googled an image of a girl's face. I usually type, like, model or something like that. Um, and then I kind of use it as a reference. Now, you see me there. It's not going to be a portrait, so I'm not doing exactly her face. I'm kind of just getting, like, you know, the overall tone and feel of how she's looking out there. Um, and then really just kind of doing it freehand uh, since it's not a portrait. So it's going to be more along the, like, style of, like, a neo-traditional type of feel. So... So yeah, and you know, doing the freehand stuff, that actually gives me like a little more practice. Uh, I like trying to do that stuff because you get more of a feel for when you're doing faces on tattoos, um, and it just kind of helps me out. I really I like the challenge of that. Um, other than that, like if I'm doing a portrait or something, I might even just print the picture of a girl, whatever my subject is, and you know actually trace it but I definitely love this process so it's a little more uh, difficult than just kind of getting the right feel for her, her gaze and you know the the feeling that she emits while she's looking in a certain way or whatever and I figured this model here um, would definitely be a good pose for the unicorn girl got a little vape action in there too <laughs> um, so now I'm kind of just like getting that layout down uh, you will see me working on the hair a little bit and again this is like a rough draft so you know I kind of whenever I'm doing this I just kind of go in there and I'll figure things out you know just try different things because I'm always gonna do a, a do an after and kind of render it a little better this is just any idea that pops into my head I kind of I kind of just go with the flow at this point and this whole process right now for this video it's time-lapse of course so it's like cut to like five minutes or something but the whole process maybe took me about I'd say like 30 minutes like 40 minutes tops um, you know, I kind of give myself some time. So anytime you ask a tattoo artist, you know, for a sketch or something like that, just put into mind that they are going to be having to take their time and, uh, you know, put a little effort behind that. Now, some people, they charge, you know, you'll have them charge a deposit or something like that. But at my studio, I, I'm not as strict. I kind of like, I love drawing, so... I, I don't charge anything for my, or like a deposit or anything for sketches. I mean, I have tons of them to do, but I definitely don't like to charge for that stuff. Alright, so there's the, the product. And this is the after. You've got a picture of the girl, so that's step one. You get your little reference. Step two is basically getting the sketch down so that's the general idea and then what I did is I put it under tracing paper and kind of finalized it almost changed it up a little bit I did the little split unicorn 
horn um, added crystals in there instead of like that empty blank space with the leaves and you'll see here did a cool nice little border geometric shape border back there I even added a little moon tattoo on her which I thought was pretty sick and gave her a little hood so and that like I said that whole process was about 40 minutes here we go again step one the model step two the freehand sketch and then you have the final product before the color is added um, thanks for subscribing if you can and follow me at the works the underscore works on instagram peace